For two weeks now, the clearance systems at the port of Mombasa have been facing challenges. The ripple effect causing delays in cargo clearance and transportation, costing Kenya and its neighbors millions of shillings in lost revenue. This situation consuming Kenya Ports Authority Managing Director Catherine Turi Wairi in its wake, the government sending her on compulsory leave. We've been having some challenges in terms of the pileup of cargo, the movement of cargo. Uh, to the extent um, we've been involved, all of us at the highest levels. She said there are some situations which are not sustainable, like this one. Her dismissal coming after the board attempted a series of intervention over the weekend, but with little success. The government also saying that the gateway to East Africa, as the Mombasa port is popularly known, being hit by loss of cargo and corruption. So if the system is not working, if the processes are not working, if logistics are not working, and we go on for one week, two weeks, then somebody must take responsibility. Cargo clearance at the port has in the last five months faced challenges. This especially after the introduction of the SGR freight services, which was initially expected to create efficiency in the system, but is yet to strike a balance. We are also looking at the entire system, from Mobasa to the ICD here, and whatever new changes required to be done, it will be done. Following Turi Wairi's suspension, National Construction Authority Managing Director Daniel Manduku has been appointed to act. But the locals in the region say the government's decision was ill-advised. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.